Across dozens of agency implementations, this client onboarding workflow consistently saves 12 to 18 hours per client per month with zero manual intervention. But here's what most agencies get wrong. They automate pieces instead of the full end-to-end -end workflow. Our system handles everything from deal closure to project kickoff, grading your contract automatically, taking e-signature, update the CRM, and kick off the onboarding sequence, ending with a personalized welcome email and tailored attachments. Today, I will walk you through the exact workflow on how we've orchestrated this automation so you can either plug it in for yourself and your own agency or you can steal this template and use it for others. Now, let's go into a live demo. Here's the deal within our CRM. In this example, I'll be, we'll be using closed CRM. It can be HubSpot, Monday, so on and so forth. But anyway, we're now gonna work on this deal. I'm gonna mark it close one. And immediately, the automation will start to generate a DocuSign envelope and sends it over to your client. Now, I'm acting as a client, imagine. I'll open the inbox and the contract is already in there. So I'll sign it. And once that's completed, the CRM now updates on its own and the deal stage already changed. And signed contract is now logged in the CRM, which is very important. At the same time, your client will receive a professional looking client onboarding email as such with the signed document attached, which makes it very professional. And you can customize it by pulling all the case studies from your Google Drive attached along with that email. That's exactly how you convert the whole onboarding cycle under three minutes. This is how you can regain time. And instead of having 10 touch points or tasks that you have to do, each and every time you sign a new client, you turn this whole operation into what I call one-click client onboarding because manual onboarding simply just do not scale. All right, let's dive right in. Let's now look at the NAN workflow and the actual build. By the way, guys, this is not a high-level diagram. I will actually walk you through node by node. So let's start with the first node, which is the webhook node. As I open this up, you can, you can see here the configuration that we have within here is, is tracking close, the deal close one from the close CRM and the endpoint um, is like this. Every onboarding sequence starts when the deal flips its status to close one. Right after the trigger, we'll implement two if nodes. The first one will check and ensure three conditions are met. First, we want to confirm if DocuSign is required. Second, we will check whether or not the deal has a tier value assigned. In service-based business, tier it is often used to differentiate different types of service that you, you, you may have. So on this occasion, which I'll explain in a bit more in a later section, but essentially we'll have a tier that we check in this particular example. And the third, we'll go into tracking whether or not the contract has been issued. This is to help us prevent any duplicates because if you have a contract that's created before, and if you have this flow successfully passed without this if node, actually you're going to be spamming your client's inbox with all the duplicated envelopes from DocuSign. So the second if node, what we've done here is we start to check whether or not this field is updated within the CRM. Again, it acts as a guardrail, very similar to the one we have mentioned before for DocuSign. It will help us prevent the workflow from running every single time we make changes on the CRM, in particular when we update the deal. Next is the HTTP request node. It starts to call the closed CRM API full lead record into NAN workflow here. That means all these variables will get passed into a code node as such, and you'll start to extract slash normalize all the key fields, including your client name, email, company, tier, and lead ID, which is a unique identifier in this case. This will guarantee every downstream node will be claimed and, 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 and presented in a structured data with no missing fields and no malfunction uh, payload, if you like. The switch node is where routing will happen. As I've mentioned before, there's a tier system. For any service-based business, often we embed tiering system into our service. For example, we run an AI automation agency that we can call it tier one, where we charge X amount of dollars. 
we can call it tier 2 when we charge Y amount of dollars. In this example here, what we've done is we have tiering system where it routes to different types of contracts via DocuSign. Each path corresponds to a specific DocuSign template and these templates are fully customizable as well we have set it up with different deliverable slash terms. In this case, we have eight tier systems and here's exactly how we do it. Each path in the HTTP request node is routed DocuSign API and it sends the correct template ID, the signer's role, which is already pre-filled with client's name and email, and tabs that are pre-populated with client details and today's date, which you want. The status will then be set to sent and the contract will land in client's inbox immediately. That's exactly how we eliminate the lag between closed deals and contract sent. Once DocuSign is fired, this workflow now circle back to close CRM like this and it pulls the lead record again, clones it and update it with DocuSign send equals to yes. This tagging here is essential. It is programmatically coded as such to prevent any double sending and also to create an audit trail for every contact slash event that gets created. From here, the workflow builds the client-facing email package. And in this example here, we've used six HTTP request nodes to pull down case studies and documents slash attachment from Google Drive. Just to call out, we use six HTTP request node, but it's highly personalizable. You can be pulling six documents or you can be pulling three to four documents up, entirely up to you. We've used this and all the documents that we pull is in a file in the form of PDF or PNG files. We call them digital assets that we're pulling where we want to surface these attachments to the end user, aka the client. So moving on, those files are now bundled with edit field node within any end and it starts to convert into binary objects within a code node like this, making them ready to be used in the next stage, aka the email stage uh, or the Gmail stage. Finally, the Gmail node sends the onboarding email. Within the email, we add subject, body, and the six attachments that have we've done before. And that's it. The workflow is hardened against failure. This is where we do all our error handling. If DocuSign fail, the CRM will stay untagged this way, the contract can be resent through your automation. If Gmail fails to send, the flow will automatically rerun. And if anything breaks, we'll get an alert sent into our Slack channel where we can notify the whole team. This ensures reliability at scale. In summary, we have trigger where deal are being closed slash one, validation to confirm the requirements. We fetch the data where we normalize all the kind of client information, email, name, so on and so forth. And we, does, we do the routing where we select templates slash tiering system. DocuSign where we create envelopes and send personalized contracts. The CRM where we can mark and tag slash tag all the important information for tracking purposes. Attachments, where we pull all the case studies and improve personalization. Gmail, where we send everything and package it up as an onboarding email. And last but not least, we do the error handling, where it retries and alert when things fail. And that's your complete onboarding pipeline, built for accuracy and scale. Across every implementation, the numbers are consistent. Manual client onboarding takes five to 10 hours per client. And imagine bringing in 10 clients on a retainer per month. That's easily 50 to 100 hours wasted. Now, if you automate this once, your team will start to get this time back. Plus, there will be no misstep or no costly mistakes. And here is how you can implement the whole system. Start by importing this JSON template. Once you have that in place, connect to your CRM, DocuSign, and your Google account for Gmail. And next, you map the correct DocuSign templates and configure your onboarding email with the right attachments for personalization. And finally, you run a test by closing a test deal to make sure everything works end to end. That's it. Five steps under one hour setup and the workflow runs indefinitely. The full template is linked within the description below. And if you want to build systems like this across all the functions within your business, subscribe for more NAN automation that cut through fluff and actually save you time and money. Drop a comment below to let me know what other automations you'd like to see next. If you want help rolling out this type of 
onboarding agent within your environment. I offer AI automation services for companies ready to streamline their backend operations and ready to scale.